How you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some drag plugs. A um, couple things you're going to need is some Portland cement, some crushed coral, and some reef safe sand. Um, the formula that I use is thirds. I use a third of the cement, a third of the crushed coral, and a third of the sand. Um, I use this little cup here to um, measure it out. I just do three of these of each one and I put the mixture in Dixie cups and that gives you a nice little disc shape. Um, you're going to need a little bit of water and protective gear. Uh, concrete will burn you. It'll burn your skin. Uh, you don't want that to happen. Uh, just you know, you don't want to wear safety glasses, gloves, stuff like that. Um, so let's get going. First, I'm gonna take a third of the crushed coral. Need a little more. And then concrete. Make sure you're not breathing that dust in either. That ain't going to do your lungs any good. Alright, and you're going to want to put water in there to make it like, uh, not, not too watery, but, you know, good enough. I'm going to mix that up and I'll get back to you. Consistency that you're looking for. Um, if you need to add more concrete, more crushed coral, more sand, go ahead and do so. You want to get it to about this. You don't want it too watery, you don't want it too dry. Um, then what I'll do is I'll take the Dixie cup, scoop a little bit out, jiggle it a little bit, tap it on the ground, get all the air bubbles out, and then I'll set it aside to dry. Um, when you're, they usually take about a day to dry. Once they dry, they look like this. Um, after they're completely dried, what I'll do is I'll cure them in a bucket of water for about a month and I'll change the uh, water weekly. And what I like about these is like uh, for zooanthids and encrusting moniporas, uh, they'll cover the surface and I'll take a screwdriver and pop off a piece or I'll just break out the whole uh, plug up and glue it, to glue it to another plug and start it all over again. Um, they work good for me. I, don't, I haven't had any issues with them in my tank at all. Uh, as long as you're curing them, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so, let me know what you think. Uh, rate comment let me know thanks for watching bye hard at work <laughs>